Hey everyone, Henry from Smoky Hills Outdoor Store and it's snowing, we've got lots of ice, it's probably be about 12 to 14 inches on a lot of the lakes, everybody's ice fishing and we're having a pretty good time right here before Christmas. I want to show you something cool uh, that we have behind me and uh, I want to go inside and show you real quickly why this is a little bit different than most of the fish houses that we do. First thing you notice is the door's gonna open what a lot of people consider the wrong way. There's some good reasons. Let's come on inside. Apart from the cool interior, I'm gonna grab the camera here. <laughs> Karen. Hi, hi. So Karen designed this. Karen, what is this house? So this is a tiny house. Uh, the gentleman that we designed this for is a member of the clergy. He's going to be doing his internship for about a year, and he'll be living in here and working out of this house for the next year. Oh, that's really cool. Yes. So it's something that he can travel around with. Yep. And uh, originally, they weren't going to put any holes in this, but I see... <laughs> Yeah, we got four holes in this. You had house. to still make it a fish house. Still yeah. make it a fish house. Very cool. So um, let me show you around a little bit. Obviously, awesome kitchen. We've got the nice walnut stained interior for those who are wondering what this is called, and it looks really cool. Uh, propane fridge, lots of cabinets, Furion oven and stove, which is just really hard to beat the space in that, especially if you're going to live in it. Over here is kind of a cool area. Uh, Karen told me about. So this is actually the desk area. This pops up. Nice place to sit, do your work. You can put your computer stuff in here, all your uh, stationery. And if you happen to be by a lake, well, it's going to be hard to beat that view sitting right here. Uh, separate bedroom. Uh, we've seen this in a couple of houses. Uh, the Eclipse, the uh, newer design Grand Castles had this. And uh, this actually does have the slide out. So you can have a nice big bed in here, sleep comfortable. Once again, boy, it's going to be hard to beat this view waking up and uh, just sitting up a little bit, have a cup of coffee in bed and look out the window. Uh, really enjoy that. Uh, bay window. Uh, this is a very popular design this year. A lot of people did this. Um, I think Jeff Drexler, owner of Ice Castle, came up with this on the... Uh, 20th anniversary. Mm -hmm. This this came out on the 20th anniversary. We have the small window fireplace and kind of the backsplash up there. So that's uh, really cool. Oh yeah, I want to show you the door real quick. Forgot about this. Right here, it's a nice little sliding door. And it works really well. Um, I, uh, I do like this add-on, that's for sure. I'm going to turn around and check out the bathroom. Uh, I really like the color in this house. Um, the walnut came out really nice, especially in the bathroom. And uh, a little closet up front. We'll have the hydraulics down on the bottom and then some hooks to hang some jackets, maybe put some shoes in there. And the walnut floor. As you can see, we're tracking snow in here, but uh, that's not a problem for this floor. A lot of people end up putting up a, a runner or something just to absorb some of that. But with the fan and the forced air furnace, it's going to keep it dry in here and nice and comfortable. Well, that's the tiny house. We officially have somebody that did a tiny house. Uh, I believe they're from the Duluth area, so perfect area for this kind of thing. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I hope they have as much fun in this ice castle working, living, and maybe fishing a little bit as we do making these videos and getting everybody the house that they want. Karen, thank you so much for designing this house for these customers, and uh, we'll see you out on the ice.